Hey friends, welcome back to Homeschoolology. If you're a subscriber, thank you for being here. Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Nikki. I'm a homeschooling mom of four. I've got a seventh grader, a third grader, and a five and three year old who are doing like a combined pre-K level. On this channel, I talk to you guys mostly about secular homeschooling, but also a little bit about motherhood and having a larger family and traveling with a larger family. So today's video, uh, we are, I think this is going to be the last video in this series, but we have been talking about like plan with me or choose with me homeschool curriculum. So today's video is going to be a focus on math. So as I said, I have shared a video, I'll link it. I got a new camera, so I don't know which side I'm gonna be pointing at, but whatever side it is, um, I am gonna be sharing, I'll link the like how I pick curriculum, like the steps I take to get ready to choose curriculum. Um, and this, rather than just sharing that with you and then sharing what I chose, I figured I would kind of show you this kind of in between like, the actual research process of me going through and looking at what I want to choose for our homeschool year. So that is what we are looking at today. So I am going to walk you through the math. So the math is going to be the one that I have the least options for because this is going to be our ninth year doing math. Um, and so I kind of have a handle on what's out there and what I like. So I'm going to show you my top three that I'm looking at for our homeschool, but I will throw in some honorable mentions at the end for other programs that might be work for you guys that just didn't work for us. This is going to focus mainly on my seventh and third grader because I'm pretty sure that my um, kindergartners are going to do the Matthew C primer, but um, I'm pretty sure that's what they're going to use. That's what I used for my other two. We had great success. Um, and it just set, had set them up really, really well. So I'm pretty sure that's what we're going to be using. Um, also because the other options that I'm looking at don't really have math for that young. But, you know, that might change because I'm still going through the process. But on to my older three, or older two, I do have three options that I'm looking at. It's going to be um, Matthew Z, Teaching Textbooks, and um, Nicole the Math Lady. I do have a video that I made way back in the beginning of this channel that was um, Matthew C, Teaching Textbooks, and Beast Academy, like compare and contrast, flip throughs and stuff. Um, so I will link that video as well for you guys. Um, so that you can see, you know, that is kind of more in depth than what I'm going to go here. But uh, I will kind of give you a little look inside and kind of show you why I'm leaning towards these things. So first up, Matthew C. Um, Matthew C, we've been using since the beginning, like I told you. Um, we have tried other things here and there, but we always end up coming back to Matthew Z. So you might be asking yourself, well, if it's working, why change? Here's why. My middle daughter, my third grader, she asked to go back to teaching textbooks. It is, if you watch the other video, it's not my favorite. It's not something that I actually love, but she wants to try it again and we're gonna go with that. So um, that's probably where we're leaning towards with her. Um, but again, like, because I don't love it um, and I, it's not my favorite thing. Like I'm still, I've told her maybe. Um, so, she doesn't necessarily love Matthew C as much. Like, it doesn't work as... It works just great. She's doing wonderful. It works fine for her. It's not necessarily her favorite learning style. So, Matthew C is kind of my tried and true. Kind of what I want to do. But not where my kids are leaning. I'm going to jump in to teaching textbooks. So, since it's an online thing, I'm going to give you like a combined view. So, give me a second to set that up. Okay, so teaching textbooks is completely online. They, pro they start with math three, but I will tell you um, from my experience that this is, this, to me, math three is second grade. Um, it, like I feel like it's kind of a year behind on everything. So if I so if I do use this for my fourth, she'll be fourth grade next year, um, we will start with math five. And you can here get a table of contents and so you can see liter literally everything that it's gonna cover, adding and subtracting on paper, rounding, um, word problems, harder multiplication, um, polygons, decimals, regrouping. Like this is, I think, Math five is definitely where she's she's at. Moving on from that, the one that I really am actually leaning towards, um, I know I said I was leaning towards Matthew C, and I might be because it's, it's tried and true and I don't have to think about it. But 
I've been hearing really great things about Nicole Ma the Math Lady. And so I, there is a free trial. It's right here, right when you open it up, free trial. Um, and so I will probably almost definitely be doing this free trial with both of my girls, my both of my older girls, um, to give them like a, a trial of it and see if maybe they like this one. Because I feel like they like the Demi learning videos, Mr. Demi doing the Matthew C videos. They don't love the worksheets, which is this Nicole the Math Lady is kind of the similar process. So it's why I think like it might work for us because that process has been working for us. But it might be a little bit more um, engaging and a little bit more like straightforward as far as like your typical math. Like it's a spiral sequence rather than a mastery sequence like Matthew C. So I'm definitely going to be having my kids do this free trial. I don't know when, but sometime before I make my final decision on math, like when, when we're ready to buy the next math, I'm gonna have them try this free math trial first from Nicole the Math Lady because I think this is the one that I am going to lean towards. My only like downside to this one is with Matthew C, like I buy it for one, I buy one level and I get it, I think, now, because you can get the DVD and then you just always have the DVD forever and always. Um, but we use the online videos and you might have to pay for the videos each year, but that's gonna be like a fraction of the cost. Whereas if I do the Saxon math, I have to pay each year, but it's only $100 a year. So uh, once I buy the textbook, um, then I don't necessarily have to buy that again for my, my future years, but I don't know. So I'm kind of, that's where my brain is. That's where I'm thinking. Those are the three that I'm going to be looking at. We also have been doing Prodigy Math um, or Prodigy Game for Math. They now have an English version, which I will be trying out. And I'll share, I'll do a video on this later. Um, this is just kind of a, a general like, but basically this is a game where they go in and this is my son's account. And so they come over to all these little, um, well, that's loud, hold on. <laughs> They come over to all these little creatures um, and they have to battle the the creature and the battle is actually math questions and so they have been this was something that we played a, a long time like with my little with my oldest we did this one a lot so basically this is just using counters to show 12 so you would just put these in and count to 12 then they cast the spell and they defeat the creature and they re they can rescue some of them and, and it's just it's super super cute i love this game and this might be what my son uses this year and we don't do formal like math but i don't know i'm still kind of going back and forth i already have the level that he would be using so i might do both um depending on what he's been obsessed with this game since i read out read like rediscovered it a few weeks or i guess last week um, from when you're watching this. I guess it was two weeks from when you're watching this prior, but um, anyways. So that game we'll definitely be using with all of my kiddos, except my youngest. My three-year-old doesn't really understand how to work a computer yet, um, and so she probably won't be playing it, but my three older kiddos will be playing this game in addition to whatever we choose for our math. So on to the honorable mentions. Um, Beast Academy excellent program has an online or has books or you can use both of them together excellent program definitely for um a more gifted or advanced child in my opinion um we loved the comic books but it just was not the way my child thinks not the way her brain works so it wasn't a fit for us um so we won't i won't be looking at it this year um uh, because I, it wasn't a fit for either of my big girls and my son is not ready for it yet um and so we definitely won't be using it this year but it's still kind of on my my you know back radar here because i might use it again in the future um and so that is an honorable mention that i wanted to make sure i put in here but i am not looking at that that is not an option for me this year so if you have any other options um, that are secular, um, let me let me prep, say this real quick. Matthew C. Technically not secular. Um, there is it's a Christian-based company, um, so it's not listed as secular. Um, there, in all of the times that I've been using it, and everybody that I've ever heard, there's been like, what when I was using it, there was a question about kids at church. Like it was like. 
um, if this many kids at church did this and this many kids at church did that, blah, 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 blah. Like, so it wasn't even like religious content. It was just talking about going to church. Um, and then I think, um, I heard Shauna at Making Everyday Magic said she came across one problem that, that had some kind of biblical reference. Um, so if I'm having, encountering one problem in years of using it, like I'm, I'm down with that. Like it's fine. It's cool. So it's not technically secular. So if you want zero mention of church or biblical references, then Matthew C might not be for you. But if you're okay with it, like one reference every other year, <laughs> like then you're fine. Like it's totally fine. So that is my one preference on that. But everything else that I've listed and talked about today is completely secular. So, um, yeah. So that's what I am looking at. That is what I am pondering about which ones uh, that I am going to do. So if you have recommendations that I have not mentioned um, in any of this, I would love for you to put them down in the comments. Maybe I might lean towards that. Um, if you have any questions about any of the ones that I've used in the past, I'd be happy to answer them as best that I can. And I think, oh, if you want um, a further look into Nicole the Math Lady, I know uh, Ashley at Gathered and Grounded did a whole video on it. So I will put her video down in the description. So there are definitely videos for you to go research and do more in-depth stuff. And I'm, uh, I think that's it. I think that's all I'm going to talk to you guys about today. So don't forget, you can follow me over on Instagram at homeschoolology. And I think I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye.